to learn limiting amino acids we must first understand the terms complete and incomplete proteins complete proteins are those proteins that contain adequate amount of all the 10 essential amino acids human body cannot synthesize essential amino acids so we must take them in the diet the mnemonic for remembering the names of 10 essential amino acids is a v hill m p t t r p v t tim hall most animal proteins are complete proteins egg protein animal milk protein they are all complete proteins now what are incomplete proteins it's very easy to guess incomplete proteins do not contain adequate amounts of all the essential amino acids right what kind of proteins will be incomplete proteins most animal proteins are complete proteins so obviously most plant proteins are incomplete proteins what is the significance of incomplete proteins if you take only incomplete proteins as a source of protein for a long time it will lead to growth retardation okay so that is the significance now you will be able to comprehend the term limiting amino acids see incomplete proteins they may lack one or more essential amino acids so those essential amino acids which are lacking in the incomplete protein are known as limiting amino acids clear in other words limiting amino acid is an essential amino acid that is present in inadequate amount in incomplete protein simple limiting amino acid of cereals cereals what are cereals rice wheat so these are cereals right so limiting amino acid of cereal protein is lysine lysine has epsilon amino group remember that also so cereal is one group and the other group will be pulses right dal you know moong dal urad dal arhar dal right so there are lot of dals so these dals come under the category of pulse okay so the pulses they lack methionine methionine is what kind of amino acid sulfur containing amino acid okay methionine is essential amino acid whereas cysteine is dietarily non essential clear so look at this limiting amino acid category cereals they lack lysine so this is the general uh, norms pulses generally they lack methionine they may also lack cysteine so they may also lack cysteine but cysteine is dietarily non essential we can synthesize cysteine right look at wheat wheat lacks lysine as well as threonine right what about maize maize lacks lysine as well as tryptophan so staple eating of maize will lead to what will lead to pellagra right so maize eaters they develop pellagra right some people they say that soy protein is a complete protein right most vegans they say this soy protein is a complete protein it's not absolutely true look at this soy milk it lacks methionine which is essential amino acid okay remember this how people overcome this limiting amino acid and incomplete proteins that is by combining two incomplete proteins together so look at this what is this so this is your idli right so we all know this is idli this is a steamed food item right so what are you seeing this is your chutney coconut chutney and this is your sambar right so how 
idli is made idli is made with the combination of rice and urad dal right so what is rice rice is a cereal what is urad dal urad dal is a pulse cereals lack lice in pulses lack methionine now you combine both of them now cereals they will have methionine pulses they will have lysine so now they are going to supplement each other right so combination of cereals and pulses will overcome the challenge of limiting amino acids okay so in south india mostly people take idli and dosa what about northern part of our country in northern part of india people take mainly roti and dal so what is this roti is made up of wheat wheat is a cereal right come here dal so dal is a pulse right so you, you will find cereal and pulse combination in most of the indian diet as well as in other countries also people take uh, mainly this combination and in western world people take mostly non vegetarian food so non vegetarian food there is no problem of limiting amino acid so the problem of limiting amino acid is found only in vegetarian food so that is why whenever people take vegetarian protein they should combine cereals and pulses together to overcome this problem right so the concept of limiting amino acids is explained in chapter 32 of my book that is biochemistry for undergraduates i hope you have understood what are limiting amino acids if you have any doubt feel free to ask me in the comment section happy learning